Sauk County beekeeper Matt Schultz is used to handling all sorts of situations with bees. In the middle of the night, Schultz was summoned to the interstate. I was the first beekeeper on site. To help law enforcement after a semi-tractor trailer was hit, overturned, caught fire, and scrambled its cargo of more than a million honeybees. So we just picked through everything we could, put them back on the pallets, and tried to save as many of the bees as we could. Bees are still gathering on the frames left on this wreckage of the semi hours and hours after this collision on the interstate. And it is fortunate that local beekeepers were available to help emergency responders. The fire department and the police just didn't know what to do or how to deal with that type of situation. Schultz and other experts say a gradual decline in the honeybee population as a result of pesticide application and other environmental factors makes it imperative to preserve bees. Beekeeper Schultz says law enforcement would have simply scooped up the thousands of stray bees at the crash scene with an end loader and gotten them off the highway if no professional help had been available. With the care he and other area beekeepers exercise with their own colonies, Matt Schultz preserved the beehives he could from the wrecked burn truck, brought some order to the collision chaos. I was taken aback for sure, but you know, I just did whatever I could to try to help the guy, because if I was in that situation, I would hope that someone would come help me. In the twisted wreckage, the toll on the shipment of bees remains visible, but hives and hives of bees were preserved from a terrible crash. In Sauk County, Tony Galley, 27 News.